Welcome back. Now we're going to uh, go over a little bit more variables here. So there's a few different rules that I want to go over. Now I want to add a third variable here. This time I want to call it fruit. Now I want to say fruit is equal to apples plus oranges here. So we are now introduced to the addition operator. It's one of the five mathematical operators. And so this is basically going to say the 3 plus the 5 and then the it's going to uh, the the assignment operator is going to take the value that's all the value that's over here and put it into the fruit here. This is what the assignment operator always does here. The assignment operator always takes this simplified value on the right and stuffs it in on the value on the left. That's how it works. So in this case, fruit is going to equal to 5 plus 3. In this case, which is it's going to equal 8. So I want to delete this here for right now. Fruit, let's output C out fruit, and it should say 8. In this case, we get 8. <coughs> so now keep in mind that this, since this came up here, since we have um, additional uh, operations here, we will. Um, we will not be able to do this. Oranges plus apples is equal to fruit. <clears throat> that is illegal here because remember we can't take remember the the assignment operator is only going to look at the stuff on the right whatever values on the right it's going to try to move it in to whatever's on the left here. Notice that there's only two there's two things here on the left there's two variables that are on the left here no, that can't happen. There can only there's only allowed to be one variable on the left hand side of the equal sign. That's it. Then we can put whatever expression we would like on on this side here. It could be anything. Almost anything. I gotta be careful in what I say here, but remember there can only be one variable on the left here. Whatever variable is on the left here will be set equal to anything that's on the right. So keep that in mind as we write our programs here. So what we can say is that um, we can say that there is a there is there are apples I shouldn't have deleted all that. In this case, I can also do this end line here. Yeah, I know. I should have thought ahead of time. And this is almost exactly the same as the previous code. Except I have a third variable here. So what we know about the variables here, there are there are three apples, there are five five oranges, there are eight fruit. And I really don't know why I put those there. But what we know about variables is that um, how we can assign them. There can only be one variable on the left. That's the one that's going to be assigned to. And there's going to be two things on the right here. So every, anything that's on the right will be stuffed into whatever's on the left here. So <clears throat> that's a uh, start on the variables here. In this case, I can change these values here. Let's say I made this uh, 19 and I made this 29 here. 
So, <clears throat> 1848. There would be 48 fruit. I don't know why it says fruit 48. Oh, because I outputted another fruit for some reason. Oops. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, so there are 19 apples, 29 oranges, it'll 48 here. So it'll do the uh, arithmetic here. And you can, um, <clears throat> and we, we'll go over the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division <clears throat> in uh, the next couple tutorials here, but multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And you can also put quantities in parentheses here. In it, in this, in the, um, the compiler does use the order of operations when you do the arithmetics, just like anything else should. Okay. That said, uh, we'll go over that in the next tutorial here, so if you want to play around with that, just keep that in mind. And just to show you uh, one more thing here. What I can do here, somewhere along the program here, let's say I want to change apples. I only have to I can I only have to declare this once here. I I do not have to declare this ever again. If I try declaring now nah, let's just we'll, we'll cover that in the next tutorial. Let's say apples is equal to 12. And then I want to output the same exact code here. So right now, I have a lot going on here. First it says there's 12 apples, there's 29 oranges, 48 fruit. Then notice there's not a space between the there and the are. There are 12 apples, 29 oranges, and 48 fruit. So just to simplify this here, let me just look at the apples here. So first it says there's going to be 29 apples here. And then somewhere else along the code, there will be 12 hours here apples here. So I can change the value of apples whatever I want. So regardless what the previous value of apples was, I can just set it equal to a different value anytime regardless of what the previous one was. So I can change this to whatever I want whenever I want along the program. Now uh, we don't we don't know too much about programming yet so we really don't have a a lot of power on how we can change this yet. But we'll but we'll go over some more things here. I'm just trying to get some syntax here. So we know how to make variables. We know how to assign variables. The variable has to be on the light, the, the, the left. And the, uh, the simplified exp the, uh, expression will have to be on the right here. So when you simplify the expression on the right, it'll stuff it into what's on the left here. So what if we said apples is equal to oranges here? What's apples is going to... Is oranges going to equal apples or apples going to equal oranges here? Well, let's see what happens here, because this is kind of ambiguous, right? There are 19 apples and there are 29 apples. So the first time there's 19 apples, because we said it equal to 19, the next time there's 29 oranges here. Well, what if we output the, the number of oranges? I can't spell. Well, is there going to be 19 oranges or apples? Or is there going to be 19 oranges? Nope, there's going to be 29 oranges still. Because keep in mind, whatever is on the left here, anything that's on the right is going to be put into whatever's on the left here. So if I change this to oranges here, whoa. If I change this piece to oranges here, <coughs> and we change this to apples here then the oranges is going to be assigned a new value and this time uh, oranges is going to equal apples here because it's going to take the value on the right here in this case it's 19 and stuffed into whatever's on the left so after this program statement the left hand the left hand piece of the equation will be equal to the right hand side so keep in mind that this is not an algebraic expression here it's it's an assignment operator in C++ because the rules don't work the same as an algebraic expression.
should say equation, not expression. It's not an expression, it's an equation. Anyway, the expression on the, the right hand side is going to go into the left hand variable. So that that's what I wanted to go over here. I want that's what I wanted to clarify. And hopefully uh you can play around with this a little bit more. And um we'll go over a little bit more in the next lesson. So I hope this lesson was helpful. And uh we're gonna keep on moving on. So feel free to uh ask send me any questions or provide any feedback to make these videos better.